Things I love, peanut butter cups, baseball, my dog Rocky. Things I hate, traffic, paying taxes, and when Rocky makes a no-no in the house. What falls in between those categories? DC's Harley Quinn. I enjoyed the character when she went over big in Batman the Animated Series, but the hype of the character over the years has left a bad taste in my mouth, similar to Deadpool and even Batman to a degree. But it never occurred to me that I should read her 2013 solo series, but a friend pushed me to give it a try, knowing as someone that came from Brooklyn, I'd enjoy the Coney Island setting to her story. As I've mentioned in another video, the fact that it also has a Saturday morning cartoon, adult swim kind of feel, without the Joker, pushed me over the edge. The series is called Hot in the City and is part of the New 52. It's written by Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmati, with Chad Harden as the artist. Here's what's going on. Harley Quinn is on her own and away from the Joker. She rides her motorcycle at Coney Island, where she inherited a building to live in. Her personality matches the overtoppy at quirky life of Coney Island, and she feels like she's at home right away. But it's not all fine and dandy as Harley Quinn tries to rebuild her life. She has to deal with finding a job, people trying to kill her, and heavy-hitting competitors in a roller derby league. One of my favorite aspects throughout the whole book are the colors by Alex Sinclair. They bring out the cartoonish vibe and eccentric backdrop that is Coney Island and Harley Quinn. In terms of being a buy, borrow, pass, I'd have to say it falls along the lines of borrow to only get it if it's on sale. I enjoyed the story for what it was, but once I put the book down, I wouldn't pay any mind to it. Meaning the story isn't earth shattering or powerful in any way, it's almost like a good popcorn movie flick. Check your brain at the door and enjoy it for what it is. Have you read the first volume of this series? Let me know what you think in the comments below or on Twitter at Monty's Mayhem. And by the way, the next time you see someone post a meme that says something along the lines of find a Mr. JD or Harley Quinn, point out the fact that it's one of the most abusive relationships you could think of in fiction off the top of your head. I mean, come on, why the hell would you post something like that? He beat the snot out of her in the cartoon. He beat the snot out of her again in the comic book. It's so stupid and ridiculous.